Okay, so now what's the next stage of doing this? Well, we need to create our new image. So we need a new image created um, to be able to store this new thumbnail. So I'm gonna say new underscore image, and this is going to equal image create true color. All this is all this function is doing is creating a new image with a true true type color to it. Um, that's important because we obviously want to maintain um, you know quality when we're creating our new image. So now we need to specify the width and the height. Now obviously we've already got the width and the height here sorted out, our new width and our new height. So we say new width and new height. Done. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to load in our original image as a JPEG image in order to use um, the function we're going to use next is image copy resized. So we need to load in our original image. So I'm just going to write image or let's call it JPEG so we uh, don't get in, you know messed up with this thing here, this uh, variable here. So I'm going to say JPEG or um, or you could say old image. Old image equals um, and the function we're using is image create from JPEG. So image create from JPEG image. So we've specified our image in here, uh, which is the uh, value we're passing through get uh, through our URL. And we're creating a new image from this. So now we have the original image and we have the new image. So now what we can do is use a function called image copy resized and what this is going to do is it's going to resize our image down with very specific uh, parameters in so this function like with most GD uh, library functions uh, in this sense is takes a lot of parameters so let's go through and we'll explain each one as carefully as, well I'll explain at least I'll explain each one as carefully as I can so the function is image copy resized okay and this function takes 10 parameters so we've got 10 parameters to put in here four of which are the destination of X and Y um, of the desk sorry the uh, X and Y placement of the destination image and the X and Y placement of the source image we don't need to worry about these uh, this is um, parameters three to six so we don't need to worry about these the first parameter we do need to worry about is the destination image and the destination image um, in our case is our new image because we we want to create um, our thumbnail in this new image here um, the second parameter is the old image so that's fine this is why I've named the variables how they are because we can see now what we're doing with we're uh, resizing the new image to um, into the canvas of the, oh sorry, we're creating a new image here, which we've done already, and we're resizing the old image into the canvas of the new image. So essentially what we're doing is we've created the canvas for our new image, which is with the new width and the new height, and we're uh, applying our old image to this. Now obviously this isn't enough parameters, we need to specify things like the height and the width of the um, of the new and the, and the old image, so we need to scale it down um, appropriately. Because what we're not doing is performing a command which is actually going to resize the image itself, we're, as the function is named, it we're image copy resize, so we're copying the old image to the new image, but just with different um, width and height. So the next three parameters, like I said, um, the four parameters are the destination X, destination Y, source X and source Y. We don't need to worry about these because they're just going from the top um, of the image. They're just going to go straight into the image. They're not going to be resized or moved. Uh, sorry, they're not going to be moved anywhere. Okay, so the seventh parameter, we've got destination width. So the destination width is obviously the new width. And the destination height is obviously the new height because this is the destination that we're creating our thumbnail at uh, inside this image, this new image. And then what we need to do is the source width and the source height, which is obviously the um, old width and the old height, but we have called these image width and image height. So image width, image height. Remember with the GD library, when you're specifying widths and heights, the width always comes before the height. Okay, so now we are pretty much done, but there's just one last thing we need to do, and we uh, need to 
use the function image JPEG. And this is going to display the um, image out on the screen for us. So, uh, sorry, new image. So, image JPEG, new image. This is the new image that we created with the new width and the new height. So, I eat the thumbnail. And um, now, what we're doing is we're just outputting it onto the screen. So, let's uh, uncomment this header here, changing our content type. And let's go ahead into our browser and test it. So, fingers crossed. Okay, great. So what we've done here is we've returned the image with the scaled down um, height and width. And you can see that it's maintained its aspect ratio. It hasn't been distorted or uh, elongated or stretched width ways or anything like that. So let's still go back and have a look at the original image. And you can see that it's still sort of intact there. Um, but when we go back to this page, we have resized our image. Okay, so the last stage is to save this file so it can be processed, so you can process this URL um, sort of on the fly if you like. So we, what we want to do is we want to save the file itself. So we just simply add a comma onto the um, inner parameters of this function, this image JPEG function, and we just specify a file name. So the file name I'm going to choose is the original image name, which is image, and I'm going to append on um, and I'm going to say dot thumb dot jpeg so this is going to be phone dot jpg and this is going to be dot thumb dot jpg so it's going to create a new jpeg image remember the dot jpg at the end is really important because then it's a recognizable extension so let's go ahead and run this page let's refresh okay so now what's happened is we've um, changed we've um, We've taken this phone.jpg, we've processed it through, we've resized it, but then we've saved it as phone.jpg.thumb.jpg. So this is an, an image in my browser. You can see that I can pick it up and drag it and copy it, copy it and paste it, whatever I want to do. So this is a, a, a an image in itself of the resized thumbnail. So now you can see how useful this function could be. Um, I wouldn't recommend calling it index.php, call it something like generate thumbnail.php and then you can simply run an image through using this get um, variable and um, then you can process the image and output it to a file name of your choice.